Hello, and hope you're having a fantastic day, and welcome to, or welcome back to, Helltown, the revival update, which was released, like, on the 19th of this month, but I haven't been able to get to it. I don't want to go into a long mini rant, so I'll just say, like, I've been getting more work shifts on the side. Uh, so, videos sometimes do slow down. You have to give me some time. That, and I've been always trying to push to make it so I no longer do part one, part two, part three, part four, but, uh, like, find the time to do a single sitting so I can upload a one, two, three hour long play video. It's not my style, but frankly, on YouTube, I think that's kind of the future of where YouTube is going is not, you know, making sure everything is 10 minutes long perfectly. 8 minutes, 10 minutes, gotta squeeze that monetization thing, right? But long plays, people love long narrations, investigation videos, so long play is not my thing, but sometimes better off, just so it's like, you don't have to go on release day, you get part one, right? And then part eight and finale is a week later. I can understand why that's not a thing anymore on YouTube, but that just makes it so me having a job on the side, I don't always have the, you know, the, the best time available, but that's all I wanted to say. Otherwise, we're gonna get into it. And you should check out my uh, pinned comment down below, check out my Discord server if you haven't checked it already. And otherwise, we're gonna play this, I'm gonna try fucking motorcyclist. I'm gonna be trying. So it's been a long time since I maybe I should even give a little recap. It's been like 2017, 2018? A long like maybe in 2017 even. Maybe. Since I first played this game. This was like the original cool horror game before Faith existed, I do believe too. Like it was one of the first games I was like, oh hell yeah, pixelated horror. Um but it got a revival update, two new endings, and revamped town village story changes, like just nice remaster slash quality of life update and a lot of other things. So I haven't been spoiled. I'll probably be replaying the entire game like as if I've never played it before. So if you're familiar with my channel and you know I've played this before, or you should go back and maybe watch my old school just to see how much I've also changed and improved on YouTube. Um, I'll be giving this a go, refreshing myself and trying to get to get one of the new endings. Sometime, I don't know if I'll miss it, but we're just gonna get into it. Yeah. We're gonna get into it. This game features disturbing and violent imagery. And we're gonna get into it and just... I, I, like, I want to experience the game all over again. It has been a long time. I'm not gonna remember everything. But I remember, like, the vague bits. And I want to know what's new. So I can, you know, just, like, get excited over it again. But yeah. Yes, you will do just fine. And the models have also been updated. Fiercely. And I don't remember this at all. I don't know how the first game started, or I can't remember that much. Hmm. Interesting. I, I can't remember if... Normally the game started with us arriving at the village. Interesting. No. Chain wire, even. Interesting. Interesting! Well, that's cool. No lava underneath? Wait, what? Interestingly unknown. I like the ambience. Like it's it's strange in itself. Like where you, I thought it was like oh hey Silent Hill esque, but it's like they have fake grass to cover what's underneath even. Oh. What an awful thing, I just wanted to stop. What? Huh? 
I could have done without a nightmare to start off the week. Maybe it's the stress. Got a whole new assignment after all. Better get this day started then. Interesting. Oh, yeah, it's all... <laughs> just like... Grease? Ah, oh, strange. It's really hot outside, although I can't complain with a beautiful day like today's. I had a letter concerning my new assignment. Dear Mr. Doe, as a cherished member of our family with St. Marion Postal Service is happy to offer you an exciting opportunity. You've been selected to expand our services into a new housing development called Little Vale. Please report to the main office on June 12th, 15, uh, 1959, where more details will be shared. I, I went around that damn town so much for the little easter eggs you have no idea how many hours i played in this game and basically got myself burnt out like i got burnt out for oh my god and and, and fi wait oh i can't whip it though it's it's sort of stuck on the on the y-axis or whatever like i can't I can't let go and whip it like amnesia. That's mildly disappointing. Oh, but wait. Oh, wait, but I can use a prop on a prop. What? Ooh, wait. Oh, wait. The opportunities. They're invading my mind. Like, wait. Between the legs? Aww. Damn, come on. No, it makes me think of, like, um... Prop surfing on Gary's mod. I wonder if I could do that now. Wait, wait. Oh, I can't jump. Damn. I can kick the chair, though. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Get dressed and head, uh, and head out to the delivery folks. What? Get dressed and head out to deliver folks their mail. It just was worded strangely at first. But anyways... No, I'm excited. I'll uh, I'll probably be playing the game like flatly, barely any skips, unless I feel like roaming, because I feel like everything I'm going to be going to, everywhere I'm going to be exploring is going to be brand new to me. And it'll be me reminiscing a lot, so I'm sorry. I don't know how much this video is going to have rambling. If you enjoy me talking and rambling, hopefully you enjoy. And Because uh, this is almost like me coming back to a... I just, it's just nostalgic, man. I don't know, man. I don't know how the fuck I can say it. So this is it. Little Vale, talk about a scenic view. I was told there weren't civic numbers yet, so I'll have to find the addresses by name. Or addressees by name. Shouldn't be too hard in such a small community. But first I should go meet the head of the local post office and see if there's anything I should collect. That's finally... Able to get myself some hazelnut cream. Alright. Uh, no, but... Check. Ain't she a beaut? Like... Oh my god. Th yeah, this town... Super familiar to me. You have no idea how often I ran through these fucking woods. Just to find... In the end, what was it? I, I, I just... Can we go for this? Oh, the even... Well, wait. I shouldn't wander off. I don't... I swear this bridge actually was always here, but it gets destroyed later when you, when things get uh, turned to shit. Oh god, I mean, just even running through this forest is just. Oh yeah, and also stamina. Oh man, now, you guys have no idea. This rock, I'm. Hmm. I, I, I played the game so much, I would have known where everything is on the top of my head, but now it's just... I know that there's a homeless person or whatever at the water place, or the uh, water tank. I know there's this cave, which we'll explore early. Oh, yeah, yeah, and up here. I don't... That's odd, not sure what to think. You know, just... A, a jail cell in the cave. Ah, I remember this. 
There's a piece of paper lying on the table. There's writing on it. And into my dream she appeared. And into my dream she spoke of a better world. Her hand extended to me in my darkest hour to lead me to you, brother and sisters. Into my dream she appeared. And into our shared dream she will lead us. This seems to be a sermon. Well, at least we, uh... The wind echoes strangely through that rock. It's really chilly here. There's that noise, and I don't know if it's a collectible. Like, I will be roaming... Oh. <gasps> oh! Why can I collect that early? I don't remember that being a thing, but... <gasps> yeah! Share abuse! Mm. Hang on. Uh. Fuck yeah. Uh. This game has allowed me to commit chair abuse. <laughs> Fuck. I, okay, the physics are ruined in terms of grabbing, but my god. You, you accidentally, or intentionally, but I'm thinking accidentally, created a punting system. Uh. Like, you just have to sprint into a chair, and it'll just, like, the physics will react to your model. Like, uh. Oh, that's just so soothing for some reason. Uh. Yeah, fuck you, chair. People don't really know or remember old, old Nico videos. There was an ongoing meme that I don't talk about called chair abuse. Where I would bring up the fact that in a lot of indie horror games at the time, you'd always have it so, like, furniture would get whipped around. You know, poltergeist shit. And I just begun noting that... Like, it was just always chairs and furniture being abused and thrown around. And so I always made the joke of chair abuse. Very, very disappointing whenever you see it, right? But then I just committed it. So, I mean, to all the old subscribers, they'll probably point it out and be like, Nico. To the no users who just are mostly used to change, uh, you guys won't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. But that's fine. We got our own little stone henge here. That pile of rocks is pretty old. Yep. Got little bug noises here that I'm unfamiliar with. You got the uh, off-limits area and the head priest's house across the, the fence. I remember all this shit. The house that burned down with people still in it, I think. Ah, oh, yeah, good times. Ah, oh, man. But I don't remember if those runes were something I could always collect or they're f scattered around the village every day, and if you don't find them, then you don't have them for the end, possibly. But my thing is, I don't remember collecting a rune on the first day in my original playthrough, so maybe it would link to one of the new endings. Because what I have to do while playing this game, and roaming, and doing my best not to bore people, while, you know, I'm not bored myself, because again, I'm, I'm nostalgic as fuck for this, and I hope it translates well. Hello, old woman. Are you the nurse or Violet? Well, you must be the new postman. Yes, please do whatever you uh, you came to do and scamper off. We're running. Also, I like that their eyes are separate yet pixelated. Still, I've not like even amongst any of the other pixelated models. Like even with Night of the Consumers, I haven't seen the pixels I was going to say voxels but pixels of the eyes being separate it's really interesting and it like it's not jarring at all it lines up well interestingly enough but running a tight ship around here don't need some hippie aimlessly running around hippie I'm in a postman suit lady this town is holding a very important event tomorrow night and everything must be perfect what do you blitz don't you have mail to deliver Okay. We'll be talking to everyone. Also, yeah, the door is open Resident Evil style, too. Mm. Can't pop that chair. It's shut tight. Mm. What's that? Hello. Somebody dropped the letter. Dear Pastor, the Vagabond is still on the loose. Thankfully, the journalist has arrived and will be staying at the hotel. Violet. Mm, Violet's ratting. A large bookshelf. Most of them are written in language I don't know. It's kind of loud. Can I turn it off? Groovy. 
All right. Hello, father. Hello, my son, and welcome to the Little Vale. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I hope your time here will be pleasant, however short it might be. When I look at this town, I see people who have united to make something greater than themselves. I see selflessness, kinship, and hope for a better tomorrow. Tell me, postman, what do you see? Uh, I can't answer that question. Is that a portrait of a saint? I'm not familiar with her, but she seems important. I'm sorry, I hope that wasn't too forward of me. What do I see? Hmm. Eh. I mean... I, it's like, I'm kind of like... It's almost like my main character since I've played the game. It's like, technically, I'm from the future. Or, you know, I'm from the past. I've already done this. But the main character doesn't remember. Only I do. Ain't that Bella out of sight? It's one of the one of a kind and made just for us. It's Little Vale's crown jewel, but that's my opinion. I could admire it all day. Bell? Oh, that one. It's gonna ring for the first time tomorrow night during a big celebration. You'll wish you had been there. Okay, tomorrow night, huh? Can't wait. Who are you? Jonathan. Oh yeah, more NPCs I think are also active in this game, whereas otherwise I think like it was only you could talk to the main characters, so there might be more people I can talk to to learn more things about. Let's see, Jonathan. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I mistook you for someone. Oh, you look just like him. What, you mean the guy that, in the burned house? We lost our Johnny a few years ago. Our Johnny. And yet the pain my Claire and I suffered hasn't dulled one bit. But soon she'll change all of that. Claire, oh my, what a queer sight. You're the spitting image of our late son, Jonathan. Oh, late son. What I would do to see him again. I mean... Uh, not long Not long now, not long. While you just awkwardly walk between us talking! Yeah, these people are already kind of revealing a kind of a cultish at, like, kind of behavior. Or maybe just cheerfully religious, I don't know. Hi there. You're a new postman, aren't you? Is that, that is so exciting. I want to know all the gossip you come by. Don't worry, I'm no fink. Uh, hotel. Welcome to Little Vale, fella. This town might not be hip at the moment, but I've got big plans to change all that. Folks will be uh, will pay big money to get pad here. Mark my words. I like I like your hair, buddy. Why does that remind me of it now? <sighs> Maybe the closest from the side angle is Lupin, the the like you know Japanese anime Lupin the Third. Maybe it's just the sideburns. It could be other characters. It reminds me. But let me know in the comments below what it reminds you of. The station wagon seems to be the only car in town. Maybe it's a visitors. Folks here don't seem to get out much. No, I mean, we're kind of in. A, are we on like an island or something? I, I don't even know. And also, we can roam in the buildings. Like I can't remember what it looked like. I think it was like. That the hotel couldn't be entered until specific days, and there's no point for you to go into it. So being able to just roam, the like this hotel just like this, maybe not even go further, is brand new. And so it's like, who knows what kind of hidden shit could be in here, if not just conversations and NPCs. It's shut tight. It's not working. The line probably hasn't been set up yet. How convenient. Welcome to Little Vale's very own hotel. Soon people from all around the world will want to visit our town. You'll see. If you want a room, just come and talk to me. Don't be shy. Tee <laughs> Thought she was trying to hit on me for a second there. Neil, looks like I'm not the uh, only outsider here after all. My name's Neil. I'm a reporter for the Rockies Inquirer. I've been following leads on some strange stuff happening here. Like, real strange, you dig? Don't know how long you plan on staying in Little Vale, but I'd make it quick if I were you. Reminds me of someone else. The fuck? Uh, lots of folks have been going missing around these parts. The cops tell everyone it'll uh, it's brown bears. While well, my opinion, this whole thing stinks. Bears have never been an issue before. Why now? Well, you're, you're smart. You're, you're getting on the case, but you're gonna get killed, buddy. That's not spoilers. I, I, I don't even remember this character. He's probably brand new. Watch yourself, yeah. But uh, he's not gonna last. I, I, I can't see it. I'm gonna go out this door. We can enter the hotel, but for the most part, it's all cut off. I, I do want to explore everywhere. 
The post office, you're last completely. Like, god damn. So. Uh, Patrice, my general store has all the essentials one might need for a happy life. If you can't find something, just taller and I'll make sure to have it for next time. Such a good general store uh, manager. Were are you called here too, mister? Don't be scared, you mustn't be. She has a plan for all of us. Okay, well, keep your nonsense to yourself, lady. There are no coincidences. It's all part of a bigger plan, a beautiful tapestry laid across the cosmos. Anyone who says there's no coincidences... Had no consequences. What, right now? Well, I'm not open today, you see. Tell you what, if you're still around tomorrow, come by and I'll let you take a look inside. I'll even throw in a pack of cigarettes to sweeten the deal. Wouldn't want you to fall ill now, would we? Yeah, cigarettes. Huh? The doors are locked. Maybe, maybe the means by talking to him a bunch of times I do get free shit? Hm, who knows? But, uh, oh, why is drugstore, maybe? The doors are locked, under construction. Who are you? Patricia, well, ain't that boss a new face in town? Oh, pardon my manners. We're a pretty reclusive bunch, as you can see. It's not every day I meet someone new. Go say hi to our pastor. He's been a, a leader to us and will want to meet the new postman. Well, I already did. But it's a good thing we'll be... Basically, when I investigate the town, in every new day, I will probably have to skip ahead and I'll just, like, sprint across the entire island or town. I don't think it's an island. We're just surrounded by mountains, I, I think, frankly. But you know what I mean. I'll roam around for changes. Because I have to... Every day, every night, I'll check... The stores, the houses, it, it depends on these houses. I'll, I'll check to see if which ones can or can't be opened. But uh, that's for, like, another time. Hello, Sir Cough Cough. Oh, please excuse me, don't worry, it's nothing contagious. I mean, he did just talk about people falling ill. I'll assume they're going to be uh, vanishing next. After having spent so long being dragged from hospital to hospital, I'm finally starting to heal. And it's all thanks to her. Cough, pardon. Please don't bother my wife, Susie, too much. Sir, she's very ill. Lately, however, things have been looking up. Thank Lilith. Have a pleasant stay in Little Vale, sir. Well, what a quaint young man. Uh, I'll have to see if I can find the dog. Oh, there's the... Wait, might as well talk... Oh, a bunch of... Shirtless... <laughs> shirtless construction <laughs> All right. I was about to make some kind of, like, YMCA joke, but... Uh, another one of you. The last guy split without notice. They say he didn't even show up to work the next day. Talk about professionalism. You, you okay, bud? You got the... <laughs> I'll be the first to admit that the town ain't swinging at first sight, but you gotta admit the gals here are something. Heck, Nancy alone delayed construction more than a couple times. Haha. Uh, okay. Now, Scram, I got a job to do. Now, these people didn't exist around here. It was just empty, if I recall. Greg, uh, sorry, sir, but I'm busy right now. Tim over there, he's my supervisor. If you have questions, go talk to him. You seem super busy while your shirtless manager struts his shit. And I'll probably have people in the comments wishing he was gay. Or declaring that he probably is gay. Probably. Let's get these out of the way. I know... This little maze is going to be relevant later. Was it even making fucking noise? It was there. I knew it was relevant for, like, the dog and the ruins, but I could pick it up early? Hmm. I'm trying to remember what I would use those for, or if they're new. Like, I swear to God, I, I remember so much shit with this game. Maybe it would impress the developer. I remember, what was it? Was it the contest where I was trying to find shit? There was a contest long ago, and I swear it was like, you had to find something between these goddamn rocks, and I couldn't find it, and it was like here the whole time. There's the phone! There you are! It was! I remember! The fucking bone he added. Motherfucker. Oh, man, that contest. I'm trying to look for that fucking bone. Oh, that, it's, that's funny. Hey, just don't mind me, man. Like, uh, 
<laughs> dog. Is the dog. We're gonna say hi to the dog. While uh, also looking for more runes. And anything else that's changed that'll make me start rambling or thinking nostalgically. Dang. I'm assuming... I'm trying to remember. I swear the ruins were around, but were they all in the first day? Were the ruins involved with driving the people insane? I can't remember. So exactly why I'm replaying. Oh, no, no, no. They found me. They found me. Go away. I'm not going back there. You stay away from me. Leave. Yeah, okay. Wait. Give dog? Dog bone. Do you want this? What? I saw it go that way the last... Uh, um... Oh, I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh... Okay, um... Oh, he's, he's following. Okay. Uh, the bone... I... Maybe we'll find the bone? He, he's not going for it. I don't... Can you... Wait, I want him to follow me, though. Hang on. I'll, I'll maybe start skipping ahead at this point. I'm going to look for more runes. I'll be checking out the houses and seeing if I can find that bone. It's not super important, but that bone did fucking fly. My god. Wait, well, this is new. What the? Groot? Jim, I made the sculpture myself. It's carved from a big tree that grew here. The inspiration came to me in a dream. <laughs> inspiration? Okay. I don't know who he is, but something upsets him. That thing is giving me the creeps, but most statues do. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, the dog's following me. Cool. Uh, but yeah, let me continue roaming. I'll have to... Find more runes, if there are any. Hmm, I like this though. Like the road in construction has like a little bit of a a lift up to the uh, pavement. But it's a pleasure to meet you, Mister Postman. If you want to share a cup of tea with someone, just give me a holler. Say, why did you park on the edge of town like that? Are you scared we might bite? Tee I'm only kidding. You have a great day now, handsome. Doggy. But, I mean, I, I don't worry about... I can't barge someone out. Okay, so we can't invade someone else's house. Okay, that's fine enough. Means less places I have to search. It's been such a gas... Wait, what? It's been such a gas moving here? Old talk? Talk about our own little paradise, tee hee. I hope you have a nice day, mister. Ah, ain't today just the most perfect day? Thank Lilith. Hmm. My old lady Betty has been in such a good mood ever since we got this pad. And I won't lie, I've also been feeling pretty jazzed lately. May she continue to guide us. Well, I mean, I'm gonna be flipping your trash can, but... I've been doing that on the side without even letting people know. You look really sad, jeez. Uh, sorry for flipping your trash can, I guess. Whatever business you have here, make it quick. This town is the only safe place left on this grody earth, and I don't want any outsider spoiling it. Ah, uh, yes, the classical, racist, silent generation. Be on your way, stranger, and leave us in peace. Just, just choke. But you know, it's just like the, the, the type of people... The, ty the type of, like, really, really, really old-fashioned person that hasn't adapted to times, and they're just like, Oh, there goes the neighborhood, a new person. And they're very, very judgmental. Uh, there's always kind of those kind of people that kind of exist. Oh, you guys look like a cute couple. Look at that back-to-back, -back, like JoJo pose, even. Hello, sir. I hope you have a pleasant stay in our town. Okay, maybe okay, you're also in Twitter. Will you be staying for tomorrow's night celebration? No, silly me. Of course not. Why would you? Good day. Are you all showing no-go like the last guy? Ah, don't look so uptight. I'm only teasing. Oops. 
Well, okay, I missed that. And I don't know where the bone is, and I still have to find that, but... Yeah, let me look around for a few more runes. Alright, actually, we should be checking this house. I'm pretty sure the runes had to be used for this house in the end. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just a delusion, but I feel like somebody's watching me. I hope nobody's living in there. In the very end, I do believe we need to, like... Interesting. We need the ruins to unlock the shed for the best ending. I'll be trying to go for that in the most thorough playthrough all over again, for obvious reasons. But I think for the most part, I have went everywhere. I'm pretty sure. I could be missing some things, but between entering there, entering the hotel, maybe the post office... And the general store, maybe the drugstore, the houses I can't, so there's not too much to search. The caves, the buildings, and the church, and the outside region, basically every day. Um, but yeah, I don't know, let's get to it. We should be fine now. You must be the delivery guy. I was told about welcome. You'll find life's, uh, life here is much less busy than in St. Marion. So much so, in fact, that we have one single package to send. Get it straight from the delivery box and bring it back to your truck. Hmm. I can't even go in there. I'm the head of the Little Vale's postal office. There isn't much work to be done yet, so it's just a little old, just a little old me here. Okay. There's one package, and it looks like a bunch of documents. I ought to drop it off at my truck and start delivering the packages I brought. Okay. We... I really don't think there'd be anything else they need to do. Like, before the end of the night, I will double-check for runes just by how anal retentive I am, but the only thing I remember is a ruin goes way over there by the rock I walked by at the start, across from the bridge, and there's probably going to be one at the Little Vale Water Tower and shit like that. In you go. The first package is addressed to Rachel. It's got a real nice smell to it. Yeah, we're going by name basis, so it's like, since it's a little town, we'll be trying to remember people on name basis. Oh, how swell my exotic herbs finally arrived. They'll be perfect for the special tea I like to make, thank you. Can't wait to get it started. I mean, this is... If honestly, I wouldn't mind this kind of job, frankly. Having... I was, I was born in a village, so I might have a little bias, but if I could live in a little town like this, didn't need to go out much, but, you know, when you did, you knew everyone, everyone was friendly, not really any crime, and there was no cult shit going on, it wouldn't be that bad. All I would want is good fucking internet, which is the only reason I don't like the idea of going to, you know, the outskirts or villages where I grew up in. Because unless the internet, like, gets fiber optic goddamn internet there, I don't generally, you know, want to, uh, you know, go, go back to a village and deal with old fucking copper DSL or cable network with five megabit per second speeds. God, no. Pastor, I got... You look bald as fuck from behind. What the hell? Uh, hello, my son. I see you've bought me my parcel. Many thanks. These old tombs... Or tombs? What tombs? Tombs, sorry. Were hard to come by, so I'm relieved to see them intact. He's like Agent 47 from behind. Thank you for... Here you his, uh, his music player is a little loud. It's also getting a little bit later, it looks like. But now, nah, man, this game's... I've already been playing for 35 minutes, what the fuck? Ha! Well, I mean, what kind of it's to be expected, I guess. I'll be playing it for fun, so it's like, whatever. I'll wait. Also... Now, yeah, the trash cans are so heavy, I can't kick them like I can the chairs. Uh, there's one more package to Patrice. There's a lot of stuff. Patrice, Patrice. Um, the general store? I believe I'm fucking right. I remember these fuckers' name on my first day. I don't remember my former employees at the other place, like my work, my own workplace when I'm not recording videos and that my my second job. I it's take it took me longer to remember my coworkers' names, and I already remembered that this guy's Patrice. But you look at that! I wasn't expecting these so soon. Me neither. 
It's, uh, if it's no bother, would you mind taking these, uh, brushes and paints to Jim? He should be by the river near the bridge, and a small clearing can't miss him. I think Jim is the guy that was making the weird statue, which was this way, I guess. I'm already remembering and also reminding myself where everything was. I'm pretty sure it was... Yeah, I can see him way over here. I think he was the Jim. 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 I still haven't found that bone, too. Hmm. Oh, these are just what I needed to finish my creation. Thanks, mister. Well, this is not quite finished yet. Hmm. Well, seems about it. I'd have to, uh... I wonder if there'd be an ending based on just, like, rotting off at one point. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ah, shucks. Well, Rod and Luck, my truck worked perfectly fine just a few hours ago. I might need to rent a room at the hotel for the night and get the truck towed tomorrow morning. Ah, damn, what a shame. Nah, uh, it's busted. Better get some sleep. Now I'll try running out of town again. Why not? I'll keep trying. Although, you know what, I'll tell you, I'm gonna just check the achievements without spoiling myself. Ending to pack your things and go. Ah, no, no. No, no. Okay, there's three new achievements, and I want them. When I seemed to play the game originally and got most of the achievements was September 27th, 2017. So that was when I first played the game. So the other two endings, ending two and ending V. One says pack your things and go, and shows the tunnel. So I'm going to believe you can just fuck off and run at some point. That'll be easy to acquire. And then ending V says... A character will never hurt another soul again. Good prevails. So maybe another true ending that has more prerequisites than what it did originally? I don't know when we can leave the town. Like, clearly, when we see something really fucked up, our character will want to at least try to leave. And it will be an option, but you couldn't in the original Hell Town. But I don't know... The, the third achievement is something about a cat that's going to be on that bridge at some point, and not the dog. Maybe I'll have to bring the dog to the bridge to scare the cat away? Hypothetical future thinking here. And... I should be able to get the achievements. I, I can perceive them. I can think of them. I get sort of probably what the developer wants me to do. It's just a matter of when. One room for the night, of course. Please head to the elevator 119. Ah, classic. Ah, oh, I haven't been able to explore... I don't think... Ah. Huh. Mine was 119 though, right? Yeah. I'll see if I can interact with any of these rooms. Hmm. Yeah, my room's definitely way over there. Is it a portrait of the same? Same thing. Um, this will leave uh, B for some good chase sequences for sure. I I swear the only time the hotel was used was when you're being chased briefly, but. Again, I can't remember. Hello. Here's a note. Oh, love, if I call upon thee for courage in the task I have been given for tonight. It's followed by a bunch of gibberish. Although, at the same time... Oh, wait, what was that? Ruins. Three out of eighteen. Eighteen, that's... I don't remember finding eighteen in the original game, but okay. Exploring the outer spheres and the great whale from beyond. Give me a break. We might have to re-explore this area just to see what notes, like, if this will change. If that will be gone and something else will be here. If a door will be open only on one day and not the other because there's a ruin in one of the hotel rooms. We do not know. And I don't remember about the game having saves or not. I'm pretty sure that it would have saves. 
my room. Wait. <laughs> A literal, literal Jesus Christ. No. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Can't close the door. I could use some shut eye. Hopefully everything will be all right tomorrow. I don't remember finding 18 runes. I'd have to look at my old footage, which I haven't. Hmm. 18. I'll be trying to get the truest of truest of endings, which I'll assume means getting everything possible. Did I hear shouts or was I dreaming? Interesting. New sequence, cool. I can't run yet. You're standing in front of your own por portrait. Hmm. Oh, note. I can't make heads or tails of the writings on this paper. Mm. How dare you? Ah, like I said, one of the doors. Rune. I will barge in without any fear if I hear that ruin sound. Is this where that other fellow stayed? Did someone break into his room? The reporter? I don't want to try to leave. I'll be going this way. It might be where they want me going. I apologize if we woke you. The damn woman, you're fucking tall. The guys that like big women. I apologize if we woke you up. Don't worry, I'll be all yours very soon. But for now, let's put you back to sleep. I mean... Wait, I mean, what? I mean, what? What? I want to know what happens. I wait, wait. You lose your progress since the last auto save. Yes, I'm gonna take that risk. From the hotel. Nice. Okay. Hmm. Okay. It said wake up call after that happened. If I successfully run away, that will be a better ending. Okay, shit. If I get caught, that probably means bad things. Hmm. And then it will autosave once this is all over. I, I, I gotta see if I can actually run. And Interesting little leaned over pose. I have to try to successfully run from her. Okay. Because as soon as we either probably get caught or not get caught, it was probably about to autosave. We are not going to get caught. We will try to successfully run away because I am going to try to get the best, best, best ending. As long... As long as it's... Um, I don't even know where. I just need. I want the ending I don't have. So. Let's see what this is about. Uh. Alright. No, I didn't. I. I don't think. Uh, like, if there wasn't any ruins. I was dreaming. It's already morning. I don't even remember waking up. These nightmares are getting worse. We had the one from the guy's room, the ruin. But... Hmm. I'll also, before leaving the hotel, I'm gonna double check. The portrait's gone. 
Everything looks normal. What am I saying? Of course it's normal. It's just a nightmare. Of course. Everything looks normal. You keep telling yourself that. I'll see if I can just, like, genuinely leave now. Because like, if I get the ending, our save shouldn't get deleted, and I should be able to do all the endings unavailable. Like, I should be able to leave, get the ending, and then continue and get the ending I want. But I need to make sure everything is perfect. Wait, actually, also, I was going to... Yes, I want to know where it's saving off. Is it from the elevator just now or after I woke up? Just after we go. Okay, okay. I think since it saves here, I'm going to leave it here. I'm not going to do a full episode uh, of like a single sitting, or else I'll be here forever, and it will just mean everything gets delayed even further. So I'm going to make it a part, a multi-part series. I got to get to a, like the Amanda horror game. I got to get, get into this. I got to catch up to a lot of indie horror games. I got to catch up to changed fan games there's so many things i gotta record and with me having extra shifts i have such little time now but it's good money and, I, and you know the economy sucks so as long as people understand if lack of videos i have a good reason all right i don't want to do this in a multi-part series but my god rendering does take forever we're going to leave it here but we're on the right path i do believe because i'm going to be thorough as fuck i'm going to show you guys the other endings so i can complete helltown all over again, once and for all, and get 100% achievements, because I did have that originally, and now I need to get three more. But either way, we're going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed and look forward, look forward to more of Helltown. Because I'm going to be looking forward to it, and I'll try to be playing more, but for now, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until next time. Mm -hmm.